So here's going to be a video since it's about, it's 85 degrees with 73% humidity and I've just been outside most of the morning doing some of my lawns. So I figured I want to make a video on, you know, tools you'll need for, you know, fixing small engines, like tools and stuff like that. So I keep mine upstairs away from my mom, dad, sister. Because I don't want my screwdrivers being used as a pry bar. So let's start with the uh, hand tools. Well, they're all hand tools, but uh, let's start with, you know, screwdrivers and stuff. That's just a failed spark plug. That's just spark plugs and stuff. I got some little Allen wrenches, a carb that came off a Lesco blower. Um, seized up. See. Throttle is seized. I've tried everything to get that unseized. Because it's a clean carb, but it's just so seized up. So that's just what I have in the top there. When you get a hand tool, I would recommend getting a one with a lifetime warranty. So, but here are just hand tools. This, these have lifetime warranties. These Husky Pro tools, hand tools, which are nice. Everything in here has a lifetime warranty have a good screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver is good for when you're rebuilding a carburetor. Um, you know, then you got the Torx screwdrivers that are, um, they have a time warranty, so do the files, so I like that. And you got a little oops, Allen wrenches, they have a uh, lifetime warranty, and just some uh, junky stuff that. Uh, grinder wheel, rear cut, and uh, sharpening blades. You know, you always need a pair of vice grips, always. It's just one of those things you always know, need. Then, a pair of vice grips, they get for just random stuff. But really, what you want is a good screwdriver. A, a good screwdriver is going to be the, your best friend. And you don't want to go to Home Depot. And on an end cap, where you see the orange screwdrivers, they're not your best friend. They are nothing but problems. So, recommend getting a very decent screwdriver. If the screwdriver ever breaks, you bring it back and they fix it. Or they uh, give you a new one. So, then you know, you got your spark plug ring, chainsaw tool. And then I have extra, extra ratchet uh, driver. I have, the, I like this one, sorry, I like this one here, for when I'm trying to, when I'm busting bolts off, because it's real long, you know, when it gets like this, real small, then the head swivels and stuff, put you down for a second, but yeah, the, I like the Husky Pro Tools, uh, I, I like them. On price too, so let's put this aside. Then uh, it's good to have a good ratchet set. This is a Husky, has a lifetime warranty, and it's nice to have a ratchet set with every single socket that you'll ever need. Which the spark plug socket I use that a lot. Um, but this is probably going to be your. I use this for I use this for like changing brakes and stuff. These uh, sockets, they're really really nice. I can't the drivers. Uh, the sockets are nice. The drivers aren't. Cause let's put an extension on here. You know, then see well, all of my ratchets are like that. I don't know if it's because they're cheap, but you see how they go up and down. I don't know, but that would be my only complaint with them. They're, they're smooth. They are smooth. But they... It's a good set. You got oh, all your metric sockets, deep wells. Then your standard socket, deep wells for your... That driver there. Then you got, you know, your uh, metric deep well sockets for your big driver. Then shallow sockets. Uh, for your big driver and uh, standard 
Then these are metric for the little driver. Little driver, this is standard. Standard. That is standard. But it is very, every single thing for 60 bucks. I really wasn't a bad deal, so. There's what it looks like from back a little ways. But it is a decent set. Highly recommend it. You can see how dirty it is and stuff. Just because it gets used a lot. So I use this for uh, fixing all my lawnmowers and stuff. I think they're good stuff. I've been fixing a lot of mowers. Trash pick ones. People give you stuff. So two stroke stuff. Anything like that. So I bought a cheap toolbox. It was like $3 on sale at Home Depot. So I'm thinking... Instead of keeping all my stuff in a bucket, I'm going to spend $3 and then get a toolbox, so. But, this is, you know, then these are just junky spark plugs. This spark plug's not too bad. You can clean that one up. But this one's pretty fouled up. That's pretty nasty. It's a champion. A champion, um, RN force it. So, but I like their spark plugs. And here's a weed eater spark plug, which is not bad at all. Champion RCJ 6Y, but it that came off a of Craftsman weed whacker. I have a Craftsman weed whacker out back in my house, and I put I even tried putting a carb on it. It's got it does it's got the zip start. It has compression. The piston's fine. I mean the I didn't put a new carb on it. It needs to be rebuilt, <clears throat> but the needle and seat are rusted in the carburetor so I, I don't know what to do and they don't want to spend money on a new carburetor so if I could anybody could help on how to get rusty screws out without wrecking the carburetor so but that's about it thanks all for watching